Welcome to CenturyLink Field, a quintessential Seattle day. Toronto yeah, FC seriously. has been put through the paces, <laughs> and we're one day out from the 2019 MLS Cup Final. Gareth Wheeler, Terry Dunfield with you. It's Manchester weather. You lived there for a while. <laughs> yeah, a little <laughs> Vancouver weather. It's just great. And uh, I think this, this rain's going to make the pitch a little bit slick. The game's going to be quick. And I think TFC nailed their objective for match day minus one. Come out of this session buzzing, light, bright, and clear. J Josie looked sharp. He, he was testing his quad, sprinting a little bit. And, and I think if need be, I, I think he's going to be a, a piece Greg can use. It's, it's not something that Greg Vanny and his coaching staff have wanted to focus on in the build-up to the game, but inevitably a player returning from injury hasn't played in the playoffs. It's going to be a significant talking point, as is the fact that he's made it through the training sessions this week. Terry, you watch training as well. So what do you make of Altador? That one time what he called would be a miracle for him to participate maybe miracles can actually happen. They can, and, and I think with a thigh, you don't really know uh, until you play a competitive game. And, and I think he's ticked all the boxes in the last four weeks to get himself and be available. And he brings something a little bit different. And even if you throw him on for the last 20 minutes, he occupies players, he occupies space, and he might create a little bit of space for others by just being out on that pitch. He gives you a real weapon on set pieces. And, and I think it's just leadership in the changing room is important as well. And it gives the entire team team a lift, a winner, a match winner in the 2017, uh, 2017 MLS Cup potentially being available. The other decision to be made, and Vanny was asked about it in his press conference, do you go with Gonzalez, do you go with Simon at the back? Laurent Simon has been so good for this team, but Omar Gonzalez has won MLS Cups before. He's basically won everywhere he's been. He's fit, he's raring to go. So in your humble opinion, Terry <laughs> Dunfield, which direction do you go? I, I think you need to look at each game kind of individually, and, and Ladero Rui Diaz, the pace out wide of Seattle and, and what's best for that and, and I think Greg will That'll come into play. I think there's something to be said for consistency and, and, and the, the the back four that's kind of got us here. And I think Omar Gonzalez, though, is is an, a man mountain back there. Yes. He's won three championships with the LA Galaxy. He knows how to get over the line. So, so I, I, I think it's a fantastic problem to really sure. have. And, and one thing that's great about Omar is he's just such a team player. If he doesn't play, he'll be ready to come off the bench. And, and, and when required, he'll go execute. So let's get down to a little bit of the tactical approach what we actually expect to play out tomorrow afternoon when you look at these two teams they're teams that are very comfortable without possession of the ball both very comfortable uh, on the counter attack that's where a lot of their goals have been scored over the course of these 2019 MLS Cup playoffs so how do you see this game playing out yeah I think there's gonna be 70,000 people here so I, I expect a frantic start I, I don't think Seattle will, will get straight into that sort of middle block. I think they'll press high. I don't think TFC will take too many risks playing out of the back. And, and then I think TFC defensively are going to press high that, that IX press and, and get right in the faces of Seattle. And I don't see Seattle really taking risks playing out of the back. I think they kind of launch it into their wingers, pick up second balls, and will look to play in TFC's half. So once that kind of 20 minutes of franticness sort of settles down, that's when I think TFC get into a rhythm, especially in Seattle's half, and look to create those numerical overloads, play across the pitch, and, and play some of that sexy tactical excellence football of Greg Vanny's. So the start of the game, obviously, you mentioned it, is so important, but I just wonder how much it's in the back of Seattle's head because the core of their team is still here, much like it is for Toronto FC. The fact that they were played off the field in the last two MLS Cup appearances in 2016 and 2017 that these two teams made uh, met, does that become part of the equation, Terry, in terms of the thought process of a player? Yeah, I, I think the fact that it's in Seattle is a little bit different. I think that really TFC have, like you say, played them off the field a couple of times. So that gives you gives TFC confidence for sure and, and I think Seattle you know exactly how they're gonna come into this game their 11 picks itself and, and they're a team that don't give away a whole bunch and look to hit teams on the counter so it's it's it, it, I think it's set up for just a fantastic game and I think I think whoever goes out there is, is simply put wins duels makes plays at the right time and, and and then some who's gonna be that hero who's gonna have that moment of brilliance whether it's Azorio Pozuelo or maybe somebody off the bench that we've seen so far in the playoffs. It's an incredible stage. Speaking with people within MLS, they're expecting upwards of 70,000 people here tomorrow. 
tomorrow. It's going to be loud. There's going to be a strong Toronto contingent. They're already rolling into town, wearing their TFC red, a special atmosphere, and what could be yet another special day for Toronto FC come Sunday. We're going to be here live. Check out Facebook Live, our coverage across the Toronto FC social channels all day long. It's match day. It's MLS Cup Final 2019, and your Toronto FC are about to take the biggest stage that this league has to offer.